walk the line Always in the north side Chilling with my other guys You know what it's like what's good youtube this your boy chi world back to y'all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you drop some heat in today's video i will be teaching you guys how to draw with your mouse so this tutorial will be for my beginners out there so without further ado let's jump right into this video First thing you want to do is create you a brush. You want to come up here, then you want to right click this rectangle tool, go to your ellipse tool. You want to make this circle thin like this. And you see what we're trying to get this circle to do is make these sharp points. So we can use it as a brush while we still got it selected we're gonna move our color black to the center and we're gonna lock the bottom layer now right, we can click off of it and make sure okay now you see how that that circle look like a nice little brush okay now right, what you want to do you want to highlight it now right, you want to come up here you want to click new brush you want to hit art brush hit okay then you want to hit okay again and now we can come right here to our paint brush and it's gonna be the brush we just created but that's the first thing we want to do you want to create your brush and that's how you create that brush now what we're gonna do we're gonna delete all this let's come to the brush right here and you wanna move your smoothness all the way up to the top. And what that's gonna help you do, it's gonna help you get more control and it's gonna help you make cleaner lines. You know what I'm saying? Now, what we about to do is, uh, we finna use a method and it's basically, you're gonna overshoot your lines. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say if I was trying to make an eye. make that top line instead of trying to make an eye like this where it's not clean you know what I'm saying we're gonna just overshoot the lines we're gonna make the lines go through each other like that we're gonna make the pupil like that you see how I overshot these lines you want to highlight everything and then you want to go to object expand appearance and then you want to hit divide now we can go click these lines right click it isolate select the group and we can delete the lines we overshot oh, you see how clean that is so we're going to create a whole picture using the the overshoot technique so we're gonna create yeah that's a little face you see how I'm not worrying so much about my lines going through one another I'm being as steady as I can knowing the smoothness is gonna help correct my lines. Go up. Bring that down. Okay, let's create a create a nose. Now let's go through and delete the lines we don't want. So we're just gonna highlight everything. We're gonna go to object, expand appearance, we're gonna hit divide on our pathfinder. We're gonna come in delete these lines.
Uh oh. Anytime it delete everything, what you want to do, you want to right click it and click isolate select group. So now only select the line that you got selected. So go ahead and delete this. Delete that line. Okay. Let's go back in with our brush and create some more. Still gonna overshoot everything so we can get the best results. Some clean line work. Expand appearance, same routine, y'all. Go to divide on your pathfinder. Zoom in. Let's delete the lines that we don't need. Uh oh. Gotta right click it. Sometimes you don't, but anytime it's deleting everything, just right click it. Isolate selected group. Now we got a nice little cartoon. What you gonna do? You wanna highlight everything? Go to object, expand. You wanna click merge on your pathfinder so we can make all our lines become one. I'm gonna hold shift, make it bigger. Hold shift and stretch it out. Okay, cool. To our layers, drag that layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy. Out the top layer, go to the second one. Find a nice little base tone to start with. Nice little, little rectangle tool. Add that color over our picture right click the color go to arrange center back you'll know if you did that right if you look over here at your layers and you see your line where it's sitting on top then you want to come back select everything click merge right click it isolate select group now we can click this color and delete it and change all these colors individually so I'm gonna hold shift so I can change all these at once. Okay. The tone. Hold shift so I can select both of the eyes. Now that we got our little character main all finished, what you want to do, you want to make a copy of your color layer. Then you want to lock this bottom layer, turn the eye off, 
Now we're gonna come to the middle color layer. Click isolate select group. Delete the skin tone. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna delete the skin tone on that layer. Now we're gonna bring the bottom layer back. We're gonna lock that layer too. Everything is locked. We're gonna create us a new layer and put it in between the two color layers. And now we finna do the shading. A good way to shade if you're not if you're not so good at it at first, don't do so many transitions of shading. Just do like one shadow layer. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna do one shadow layer for each color. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and do one shadow layer for the skin. I'm coming to my pencil tool, double click it, move my smoothness all the way up, hit OK. Make sure my color is at the top and the bottom one is locked so it'll work as a fill tool. And we're just gonna do one shadow so it'll be easy. So let's see which where we're gonna have the shadows coming from. I think should have it coming from this side of the face. So that's how we're gonna do it. So let's put a shadow on out of his nose. That's one shadow. Put a shadow right here. Shadow under his bottom lip. So basically, just start out simple, you know what I'm saying, until you learn how to be more advanced with it, you know what I'm saying? So don't try to do something that's too detailed or create something that's just too much at first. Just start out simple. I like that. Create us a new layer. So we just doing one shadow for each color. So I created me a new layer and I put it above both of my color layers. So now we can put shadows inside the eyes and the mouth. And there you have it, you guys. How to draw and shade with your mouse. Make sure you hit that like button, come and subscribe. Mohit coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned and your boy is out this thing.